Hello everyone. After completing my graduate school in astronomy and astrophysics, I worked on a research project for a duration of 2 months. As a PhD student and not a short duration project student, the emphasis in research projects is on self-learning. Unbeknown circumstances marked my transition from my graduate school vanilla learning phase into the world of doctoral research, which was sealed with a we welcome you to research. Realizing that the research ball game is diametrically opposite to the classroom education experience, I will be shining light on my graduate school project process. The title of my project is Towards Phase Resolved Spectroscopy Timing of Centaurus X3 Using AstroSat Observations. In a nutshell, the project presented the high resolution timing analysis of the observations of the high mass X-ray binary Centaurus X3 spanning half an orbit which was performed on 12 and 13 of December 2016 with the LAC PC detector on board the AstroSat space satellite. During this time, the pulsar was in out of eclipse part of its orbit around its optical counterpart, the Kshaminsky star. As per my supervisor's instructions, I would prepare weekly write-ups of my project work which I made complete with APA referencing, which I compiled together in the end into a single file, my project report. Since the write-ups were detailed, I prepared a project outline with a detailed checklist, complete with timestamps of completion and plans for the next week. This was further visually represented by a project tracker and then condensed into a one-page project dashboard, providing a glimpse of the key progress made over the week. I will use those footprints for the purpose of this video. The dashboard has a project timeline, my learning chart, highlights consisting of the key results and main observations and graphs for the supervisor's inspection. Initial setup consisted of gelling into the new high energy astrophysics framework, getting to know my supervisor's research team, creating account on the AstroSat Science Support Cell ASSC server which was to serve as a platform for analysis. A senior had required a week for software installation, which got saved for me since it was pre-installed on the server. This was followed by accessing the data and spending time with it, familiarizing myself with all the files and their structures. I was also asked to self-explore necessary utility tools like the AstroSat Orbit Generator. Jumping into an unknown area not previously taught formally in graduate school implied spending a week in developing a theoretical background by extensive self-reading on X-ray astronomy, pulsars, X-ray pulsars, X-ray binaries, physics of accretion, etc. in order to unlock the level of literature review. While I was advised to start the literature review from the discovery of the Centaurus X3 pulsar, others advised me it was impractical and provided a different set of instructions, which only doubles the to-do list. This jammed the literature review bit, causing it to fade in the light of the pressing need for software learning, a major progress in data-driven projects. X-ray analysis means dealing with response matrix functions, photon analysis, detecting bad data points. Data from space satellites meant learning about barycentric corrections and good time intervals. Coding all this in Python is just the tip of the iceberg. The mother software in high energy astrophysics is called HIASoft, released by HIASARC, NASA. Then its main daughter softwares, Kronos for timing, F-Tools for file handling and manipulation, XPEC for spectral analysis. As the essence of a PhD is to enable the scholar to learn how to teach his own self, I was strongly encouraged to learn them by myself using manuals as preparation towards becoming a strong independent researcher in the future. The instrument being used was LAXPC, which added LAXPC soft to the list. Also learned on the go how to navigate through databases in astrophysics like the NASA ADS and SIMBAD. Two months is a tricky project duration. It is long enough that you will be expected to come up with considerable amount of significant results, but short enough that you will become a time management expert and a productivity master by the end of it if you took it as a serious learning experience. As an entry-level project, one is also expected to learn how to read research papers, develop writing skills, 
file handling skills, and computational skills to have a firm foundation set for your doctoral journey. Once the learning barrier was overcome, the stage was set for data analysis, where the observations and results finally followed, carefully picked from an ocean of files of light curves, EF searches, E-folds, power spectra, pulse profiles in phase histograms, phase calibration plots, pulse height amplitude spectra, trend modeling fits, and best fit parameter estimates. One major prick though turned out to be the errors on the parameters and the chi-squared values, training in which has now been included in the graduate school to benefit future batches. Timing analysis was completed and yielded the final results as pulse profiles, projected radius of the orbit, and orbital velocity. Due to some extra time, this could be further extended to phase calibration towards phase resolved spectroscopy. Now for the remaining puzzle piece, the literature review. Turned out that due to my acquired proficiency in the topic, I managed to navigate through the literature within a surprisingly short six hours and made the project complete. Due to the density of the project work, I had about 10 pages per week of write-up, which after eight weeks blossomed into an 82-page project report. Realizing that it's just short of a typical thesis length in itself, I prepared a six-page short summary to provide a lifeline for my external examiner. As a final culmination of the project, I prepared a poster summarizing the key results. I tried out the new project template that is doing the rounds in the PhD community as part of the Better Poster campaign, a movement towards better scientific posters initiated by Mike Morrison a PhD candidate at Michigan State University for less cluttered, more user-friendly scientific conference posters. So this was a time lapse of my graduate school research project, my chronicles in the world of research. Thank you.